Hello, this is Mike Russell from musicradiocreative.com. Well, previously I've shown you exactly how to get that T-Pain auto-tune effect on any singing voice using the Waves Tune Lite plugin. Now, while I really love the Waves Tune Lite plugin, there is a way to do this effect in a similar fashion right inside Adobe Audition. Let me show you how. Here, take a look at this. I'm going to whack on my headphones and play back this little singing logo now. Okay. BBC Los Angeles. That's Guy, our male singer, singing a radio station logo. Now, if I go into the effects menu of Adobe Audition, go for time and pitch, and then select automatic pitch correction, it'll bring up this box, which is new from Adobe Audition CS6 onwards. Now, for presets, you can go for A minor, C major, really whatever key your music is in. And this will just slightly correct singing that may be off. But you can go for this setting here, extreme correction, and you're going to get a very similar effect to that T-Pain auto-tune poppy style singing. Have a listen. K BBC Los Angeles. And you'll notice right now the scale is chromatic, so Adobe Audition is trying to guess what kind of key or scale it's in. So I can change that to a major scale and make it C, and then that will become a little more accurate for me. Notice when it's going red here, it's attempting to correct the singing. Watch. K BBC Los Angeles. And you can see at the end in particular, it's having a little bit of trouble with the correction. So you might want to pull the sensitivity down so it's not quite as strong. But you can have a play yourself, and that's pretty much how you can do it and apply the effect in Adobe Audition. I hope this tutorial has been handy to you, and if it has, hit the like button on this video now. I'm Mike Russell from musicradiocreative.com.